The Spry Metropolis. I wrote this uh, thinking about my visits to New York City in the United States. The Spry Metropolis by David Hart. Tower, buzz, and scurry. Oh, great resilient city. Ahoy! Alive! Scramble, bustle, earth's ethnicities. On lurid quests, a pendulum of tantric turmoil and blessed harmony. Quixotic city, brash, sans foi, maratomized, and crematistic, metro non pareil. See a myriad melange of tortured, splenetic souls and great spirits, noble and soothfast. Great city, your hecatombs of underground trains, roar, scream, in hodgepodge graffiti attire. Fat, fuming, brattling buses grunt their huff puffs and nervous cars, scissor cut impatiently betwixt tarred and cemented streets, august and capricious. For ruminated gray glass and steel, towers, airies in obeisance to the heavens, erupt in anabasis at the azure pearly welkin. Humming diapasons of marvelous melismatic tunes, a galumphry of cacophony and sweet sounds, the great metropolis persistently thrives. Streets adorned with silk fashion models, cornute churls, recrement dazed and forgotten men, enticing shuck and jive, blandishing street vendors, natty bruyo, business gentry with their helletry on a ferris wheel of daily triumphs and defeats and cheeky mendicants, shuffle along allegro vivace, howling chorus songs amidst a torrent of raining dollars and coins floating in the skies over the brazen metropolis. Snuffling restaurants like hives hum buzz the grandiloquence pithy slang and sententious persiflage of the day, a truly syncretic parley of passion sentient, of crimes basilic, of arts sacerdotal and gratuitous, of fashions arabesque and outre, of plays frivolous and profound, of music serious and truculent, of money pursuits salonic, of love's ascendant and descendant, an air persisting cha-cha-cha and boogie-woogie of the fierce, bustling, bubbling, bold city, pendulooming pandemoniums and resolutions, day upon pertinacious day.